I know what you're thinking. You're asking two Reddit videos in a row from you, Joe? Yes, it's true. I thought they were done announcing their Q1 2024 announcements, but then they dropped this, Freeform Ads. This unique to Reddit ad format is available globally for advertisers looking to push engagement with some longer form content. You're gonna see how it fits perfectly with how Reddit works. So in this video, we'll show you how to set it up within your campaigns and the tools you can use to create free formats. Before we really dive into the new free form ad format, I quickly wanna go over Reddit text ads. And I'm doing this because free form ads are the replacement for text ads. But Reddit text ads were very simple. They really had three main components. The first was that you get a headline up to 300 characters, pretty straightforward. Then you had 40,000 characters for your body text, definitely a lot to work with. And then you could choose whether you wanted user interaction with your text ads or not. And that was pretty much it. Nothing really robust about a Reddit text ad. But I wanted you to see this before we actually go and look at creating a freeform ad and seeing what you can do with them to compare how this ad format has changed. Now we can hop into Reddit ads. I could go in and edit an old campaign and just jump right to the ads tab, but I'm not going to do that. I'm going to go ahead and create a new campaign for a specific reason. I'm going to stick with advanced create. We get more control over our campaign creation process with this option. And here we get to the first part of creating a new campaign. You have to add in a campaign name just to keep on moving. But then the next part we see is your campaign objective. While there are six campaign objectives, freeform ads are only available in two of them. And they just happen to be the top two which is going to be brand awareness and reach and traffic. Now this makes sense. I said in the intro, this is a way to engage users with long form content. So building brand affinity and having users interact with your brand definitely makes sense. And you'll see there are ways that we can drive traffic from these long form content ads, which also makes sense. Are they as conversion focused? Not really, but there's still opportunity to gather conversions. So it's not an option here. A video ad is the only option you can run for a video views objective campaign, so that's clearly out. App installs, also not an option. And then we're not pushing e-commerce products with any product feeds, so the catalog sales one wouldn't count. So for this demo, I'm just gonna choose traffic. All your payment information is just down below, whatever, we can continue. But next within your ad group is where you're going to add all of your targeting options. But you can choose to use community audiences, subreddits, higher level interest groups. This is still native Reddit targeting. There's keyword options there, your custom audiences, think of your retargeting, website visits, customer lists, previous ad interaction, there's your demographic, devices, some more exclusions, there's your budget in your bid, and your ad schedule. So choose all the best options for the goals of your campaign, and then we can click continue to the actual ad creation. We see the announcement right there. Text ads are now freeform ads. I quickly went ahead, named the ad, we're going to have to do that anyway, and then for the post type, we want freeform. Once I did that, the creative options have changed. We still get 300 characters for the headline, just like I showed in the slide talking about text ads. Here's something really simple, but even if you notice how long this is, it's not even a third of what you can use for your headline. But the really good part is when we get down to the content. Now there's a few different ways that you can tackle the content block. You see that we have options right here with symbols that are gonna be very familiar to you. So whether you have your text already created just go ahead and paste it in here, but then you can start formatting it. So what I'm going to do is copy and paste content from Reddit's blog post announcing freeform ads, because that blog post uses different formatting, and I'm going to try to replicate it within this content section. So let me just grab a little bit of it. I'm going to paste it in here. And even though you can't see the blog post, when I paste it in here, the content block automatically formatted it pretty closely to how it looks within the actual blog post. So we have the option to bold certain things. Here we have the option to quote and then also superscript. Going down a little bit, see what they have it here. Yep, they do have it as a separate heading instead of just having bold text. Not only that, let me grab something else. Go up here, space a little bit. Yes, we can paste in images. There's also an option for a video. Yes, these are examples that Reddit has given of what a freeform ad can look like. Hopefully we can get a better preview. So here's one way how the ad could look. It's just more options there. See, it's a basic text ad. If we go to post, here is a promoted post the full headline, and then what we have within the content block still formatted the way we want. Notice if I go between the actual content block, since we did have this highlighted as a header, how the content actually looks. Now, one thing I'm not seeing here, even if I scroll back to the top, is any sort of character limits. With text ads, it was 40,000, and they let us know how many we had remaining. I haven't seen anything here letting us know if we're about to run out, so we could possibly get almost an endless amount of content. If users want to keep reading and engaging, 
we can try to stretch it out as long as possible. Maybe we'll get an answer further in the video. But for now, let's look at the thumbnail image. Add it in just some sort of image so we can get something in there. Clearly, it doesn't make sense to what the content is talking about, but you'll know better when it's your own ad. There we see 400 by 300 image, 500 kilobytes max. And then also like text ads, you can still choose whether to allow users to make comments on your ad or not. Now, any sort of conversion focused one, we have typically left them off. But these ads are clearly designed for engagement. If you feel like your targeting is precise and you want users to engage and comment on the post, it's definitely something to consider. And this new free format format would be the one I would consider most allowing comments. Going back up, preview hasn't really changed. There's my thumbnail image and so on and so on. So that's just one way that you can create the content. I'm gonna quickly highlight everything and delete it because once we do, you may have noticed that this popped up again and that is a template feature. If you don't know where to start, Reddit did a pretty nice job giving you three examples that you can use to potentially give you inspiration on what you may wanna use for your content or you can just flat out use one of these templates yourself. In the first option here, wonderful preview, tell your story, share your journey, maybe introduce your brand. If it makes sense with the audience that you're targeting, possibly share a success story. And there we see links to get some real examples. I'm always down with food, so let's choose Kraft Heinz. Here's an example of what they use. Everything that we see in here, in terms of heading, bolding, using bullet points, links, images, there's a quote. All of these things are what you can add to the content block. Clearly this has nothing to do with food. Ah, there we go. But that's just one example. I'm not gonna go through all of them. Next we see product deep dive. Maybe you're looking to build some hype on a new product launch, or maybe you just have current products that you wanna to introduce to a new audience that may not know about it yet. There's a template for here. Go ahead and click and view more examples. And then the essentials. Reddit says this is the best option if you have limited creative resources. A little bit quicker and to the point. We see it in the example here. Almost listicle style, three quick tips. Boom, 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 simple image. I like this one. Let's use this template. And right away, Reddit ads has done most of the work for us. Let's go to the post view. Your headline will remain the same. The templates will only affect the content block. If you want to, you can use this exact format and just update every single thing that they included to really fit the story that you want to tell. Notice how I really can't scroll down here. Everything we see on the screen is all that's part of this template. Or you can just use this as a really good base to start editing your content. Of course, the one we chose was getting straight to the point. If I delete this again, look at another template, this time we'll stick with tell your story. And there we see there's a lot more to look at. Several sections, bullet points. Here's we can have certain calls to action. So yes, you can drive traffic, potentially get conversions from it. But remember with long form content, that shouldn't be your main goal. So really get creative. You can test out a variety of different content combinations to really see what is actually going to engage with users. And if you're already doing long form content with blog posts, you already have an idea of what might work with your target audience. But also keep in mind, Reddit is a different beast. User behavior on this platform is totally different than someone interacting with a blog on your own website. User intent is completely different. So potentially use your best performing blog posts as a start, good idea. Be prepared to make adjustments to find out different things that will work better for the Reddit platform. A lot of that could have to do with the target audience you're selecting for your ad group. How precise is this content to who you're targeting? Is it going to capture their attention right away? And not only that, is your content formatted in a way that's gonna keep them engaged and keep scrolling to read the rest of the ad? The brand awareness and reach campaign serves in a CPM model. So if that's the objective that you choose, any impression of that ad is technically something that you're already paying for. So your goal is to try to keep that user engaged as possible. Traffic, there is a CPC model of it, but eventually within this post, there's gonna be a button for them to click and expand to read more. If they're clicking on it and you're getting charged, you want to keep that user engaged to go all the way down. Unless you have some really good linking in the top, driving them to the site, then your goal might be met. But let's say you have everything in here. You're good with the content that you have created. The last option with the ad portion is just any URL tracking that you wanted to use. We can head to review, one last look, and then publish. Now for this, you can go back into the campaign, click on the ads tab. Here we see our ad with the default columns. Go ahead if you want to adjust and look at different metrics. There's the column button where you can do it. But if you ever need to, just highlight your ad. Here's where you can go and edit your ad. I know in the last video, I talked about the new duplicate feature that was just announced, Q1 of 2024. Or if you click on the more button, there's where you can duplicate it. For free form ads, it's really not that impactful because you have to create a different post every time to use within the ad. 
So you might have heard my mouse in the background. I'm trying to double click on this to make changes. Can't do that. However, if you already have several posts created, you can choose a different one. Here's some other ones that we've already created. There's the freeform post. If you don't have any other freeform posts created, you're going to have to remove this and then create a new one. So maybe the duplicate feature is not the best for freeform ads, but it depends on how much you're using Reddit. I'm not going to save this, just going to go back. But that's our introduction to freeform ads. If engagement is very important for your brand's marketing initiatives, and you know there are certain targeting options on Reddit that are perfect for your ideal audience, definitely give this one a try. I think it's a heck of a lot better than the text ads, and Reddit does a great job of giving you templates to inspire ideas, but also give you examples of what other companies are doing to hopefully give you even more ideas of options to test. If you have any questions about freeform ads or anything else within Reddit ads, let us know in the comments. Thanks for watching our video. We really appreciate it. If you liked it, give us a thumbs up below. If you really liked it, maybe think about subscribing to the Paid Media Pros YouTube channel and you'll get alerted every time a new video drops. If you really, really liked it, you can help support the channel by checking out some of the t-shirts that we're wearing on our merch shelf, as well as looking at the Super Thanks button.